friends and welcome back. We are on card 14 of my fall series for this year. I want to share with you how I created this really cute truck shaped card using some products from Honeybee. So let's get into it. Today I'm going to be using the big pickup tailgate and the loads of love stamp set from Honeybee as well as their autumn uh, stamp set as well a little bit later on. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get into the coloring. I pre-stamped all of my images ahead of time with some Simon Says Intense Black ink on some Copic Friendly cardstock. And I'm going to just get right into the coloring because it is quite lengthy. Um, this big truck took me quite a while. But I'll have all of the colors listed along the side of the screen here. And once we're all finished with the coloring, I'll come back and we'll finish up together.
once I had all of the coloring finished, I used coordinating dies to cut all of these cute images out. Now I wanted to make sure that the leaves looked like they were actually setting inside of the truck. Now there's other dies that you can cut out portions of the truck and you can layer them up and you know do something like that. But I didn't want to add too many layers to this card. I wanted it to be pretty simple. So I just took my T-square ruler and one of my craft knives here and I'm just cutting along that top edge of that tailgate just to add a nice kind of cut opening so that I could slip in the um, the leaf images so that they could settle down nice inside of the, um, the truck bed. Just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural, the, um, the white border around them is pretty thick and I didn't want to be able to see that white border at the bottom. I wasn't too bothered by it around the top edge, but I wanted to kind of cover it up along the bottom. And I trimmed up the leaves just a little bit more here so I could really get it to fit down inside of the truck. And I love the way that that looks. And then we'll get our little dog sorted out here. I just loved adding him. He reminds me so much of my dog. Uh, both of my dogs, actually. Both of them are black uh, with a little bit of white on their chests. But um, one's real furry like this one, and the other one is a smooth coat. So it was a lot of fun being able to add this little dog to the card in honor of my two dogs. I'm just taking some scissors here and I'm just cutting a little like couple of lines or, or a notch area here so that I could tuck the dog down in the bed just a little bit. It's probably not really that big of a deal but um, I wanted it to sit a little bit more on the truck bed than kind of hovering above it. Next I took the Autumn Greetings stamp set um, from Honeybee as well and I'm going to stamp the big Autumn Greeting in some um, clear embossing ink from Simon and I'm going to heat emboss with some antique gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp as well. I really wanted to have a nice big greeting. This truck um, stamp set comes with some really nice greetings but I wanted to create it into a fall card so using this nice stamp here it was the perfect size and I don't think it was it didn't take away from the entire image and it fit really really well. So I'll get that stamped on there lined up making sure that I have room for my little dog here. He covers up over, like his little paws cover over the word a little bit, but I wasn't too bothered by it. Um, I think it just kind of adds to the little scene I've got going on here. And I'll ink that up with that embossing ink. And I ended up stamping it twice just to make sure that I had a good impression. Now the T on this didn't stamp quite, you know, quite right, but again, I wasn't super bothered by it I just left it go I didn't want to stamp it again and end up you know it's shifting or moving around on me so I got my heat gun heating up off to the side here and this cardstock that I used this is Copic friendly cardstock um, it's not Nina and it's not Simon I can't remember where I got it from um, it's just some scrap cardstock that I had in my stash that I want to get used up so it's pretty thin so what I'm gonna end up doing is I cut out another um, piece of cardstock with the truck die and I'm going to layer it on top of that just to kind of give it some stability so that the card is a little bit more substantial um, just because this cardstock in particular is a little bit thinner. Um, I really do like it for Copa coloring. Um, I haven't had any issues with it even though it is a little bit thinner. Um, it still stamps really nice. Next I wanted to add a greeting onto the little um, license plate here. Again, in that truck stamp set, they have a lot of really great um, little greetings for on the, um, the license plate. But I wanted it to kind of go along with the autumn greeting. And this hello from that same stamp set fit perfectly in here. And I do apologize if my head gets in the way. I just wanted to make sure I got that lined up because it's so tiny. And I'm going to emboss that in that same gold embossing powder as well. And this is such a sweet card. I'm super excited to use this um, for a lot of the um, men that I have in my life. Uh, I think they would really enjoy this card because there's lots of really nice um, kind of masculine greetings inside of that um, truck stamp set. My kids really thought it was neat. They liked this card. And I was thinking about maybe getting the front portion of this card so you can make like a double-sided card. I think that'd be pretty cool too. Now that I got that all heat embossed and it's looking good, here is that scrap piece that I had cut out earlier just to kind of back this one to give it a little bit of stability. Now, I wasn't using my brain here like always. 
and I was kind of moving ahead of myself and I forgot to put my leaves inside of my truck. So I got this part glued down and I was like, oh boy, I'm going to have to lift this up. How am I going to get this on here? So I just added some glue to the leaves and I just tried to tuck it in there before I had adhered the rest of it down so that I could slide those leaves in there. And I got those slid in there and just pressed it down and used some acrylic blocks just to hold it in place just until that glue dried. And we can adhere this to the front of our card base, which I just took a standard A2 size card that I as a you know a port or I think it was a landscape style top folding card, and I just lined the die up so that the top edge of that die was over the fold to create that card that truck shaped card, and this will fit perfectly inside of an A2 envelope, no problems. Just use that same Tombow glue to get that glue down. And this card didn't take me very long at all. I think the obvious, the longest portion of this card was the coloring. Now you could simplify it and maybe just do water coloring because it's quicker or, you know, stamp it on some colored cardstock and do some paper piecing, anything like that. But I really love the way that this turned out. And I'm just going to go in and add a few finishing details. I added some white pen detail a little bit earlier but I wanted to add just a little bit of shimmer to the glass, to the leaves, and to the dog's little bandana there. And then we're gonna cover over it with some um, glossy accents on the little side mirrors and the lights at the rear of the truck. And that will finish up this card for today. I really hope you enjoyed this card. I had a lot of fun creating it. It wasn't overly difficult, really simple. You know, the longest portion was the actual coloring itself, but I think that you could, you know, make several of these cards with the different loads um, that come in that stamp set, you know, the leaves, the pumpkins, anything like that. I'm really hoping that maybe Honeybee will come out with a holiday themed loads of love kind of thing with maybe some trees or some gifts, something like that. I think would be really cute. But again, I hope you enjoyed this card. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button as well as the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos here on my YouTube channel. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye. On screen, I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos at my YouTube channel.